those hypocrites to cry. G, who dwell round about me. H, the kingdom of Christ is prefigured in David's kingdom, who by the preaching of his word brings all to his subjection. I, or lie, signifying a subjection constrained and not voluntary. K, fear will cause them to be afraid and come forth from their secret holes and holds to seek pardon. L, that is, Saul who out of malice persecuted him. M, this prophecy belongs to the kingdom of Christ and calling of the Gentiles, as in, Romanus call 15 to 9. N, this did not properly belong to Solomon, but to Jesus Christ. And one of the things, too, is that I know that the Holy Spirit is working in me. And no matter what comes my way in my life, and my life is... is... Uh, pretty good for the most part and I'm not going through the kind of trials and suffering and the pain that other people are going through around the world but I at the same time have an internal thing going on in me that tells me hey keep your faith your service to God, living for Him, things some way will have a way of working itself out. And that no matter what comes our way, God will give us the victory and we will triumph. And that we can accomplish just about anything. That is anything that lines up with God's will and purpose for your life. And so we have a, oh yeah, and this psalm a type of the 12 tribes of Israel and the victories and things that they've gone through and the triumph that they've gone through because of God working in and through them because of their faith and service to God. But we also have a type of David and the things he's gone through and triumphing and this is a type of Christ Jesus and the things by which Jesus Christ accomplished not only when he was on this earth but through his death, burial and resurrection and then bringing about judgment upon the apostate house of Israel and the Roman Empire and also points forward to the judgment seat of Christ when all will stand before God and so You keep your focus on God's will and purpose. God can get you through just about anything. And you will see such victories in your life because you can do just about anything if God is in the picture. That is if that those things are in line with God's will and purpose, His divine decree and providence and so let us remember that let us look back to all the accomplishments that God has got us through the peace and the joy and the love that God's given us through through the trials and storms of our life and trust that God will do it again and continue doing it on, doing it and on to the future when Christ will triumph in victory over the devil, the flesh, and the world when peace, when suffering and sickness will no longer be an issue 
Psalm 18, Doppelpunkt 1 für den Vorsänger. Von dem Knecht des Herrn, von David, welcher dem Herrn die Worte dieses Liedes sang, an dem Tage, da der Herr ihn aus der Hand aller seiner Feinde errettet hatte, auch aus der Hand Sauls. Er sprach, H18,2, ich will dich vom Herzen leben, Herr, meine Stärke. Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 2, H18,3, der Herr ist meine Felsenkluft, meine Burg und meine Zuflucht, mein Gott ist ein Fels, darin ich mich berge, mein Schild und das Horn meines Heils, meine Festung. Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 3, H18,4, den Herrn, den Hochgelobten, rief ich an und wurde von meinen Feinden errettet. Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 4, H18,5, Todeswehen umfingen mich, welche Belials schreckten mich, Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 5, H18,6, Strecke der Unterwelt umschlangen mich, es kamen mir Todesschlingen entgegen. Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 6, H18,7, da mir Angst ward, rief ich den Herrn an und schrie zu meinem Gott, er hörte in seinem Tempel meine Stimme, mein Schreien vor ihm drang zu seinen Ohren. Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 7, H18,8, die Erde bebte und erzitterte, die Grundfesten der Berge wurden erschüttert und bebten, weil er zornig war. Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 8, H18,9, Rauch stieg auf von seiner Nase und verzehrendes Feuer aus seinem Munde, Feuerglut brannte daraus hervor. Psa 18, Doppelpunkt 9, H18,10, er neigte den Himmel und fuhr herab, und dunkel war unter seinen Füßen. Psa 18, Uhr 10, H18,11, er fuhr auf dem Cherub und flog daher, er schwebte auf den Fettichen des Windes. Psa 18, Uhr 11, H18,12, er machte Finsternis zu seinem Gezelt, dunkle Wasser, dichte Wolken zur Hütte um sich her. Psa 18, Uhr 12, H18,13, aus dem Glanze vor ihm gingen seine Wolken über von Hagel und Feuerglut, Psa 18, Uhr 13, H18,14, und der Herr donnerte im Himmel, der Höchste ließ seine Stimme erscheinen, Hagel und Feuerglut. Psa 18, Uhr 14, H18,15, und er schoss seine Pfeile und zerstreute sie schleuderte Blitze und schreckte sie. Psa 18 Uhr 15 H 18 16 Da sah man Wasserbäche, und die Gründe des Erdbodens wurden aufgedeckt von deinem Schelten, o Herr, von dem Schnauben deines grimmigen Zorns.